Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry I haven't had a video out there over the weekend. I was just taking a little break. But um, I'm getting ready to record again. So today I wanted to do something a little different on my Let's Play series. I, um, I've i seen the Greybeards and I've got to go do a quest for them. So kind of in a stage where I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next. But in the meantime, I wanted to uh, do a little tutorial video on how to install mods for Skyrim. Um, I know there's a lot of mods coming out now and I'm going to give you guys a link to the site I use and some people may be thinking well there's some great stuff but how do I do this? So without further ado I've gathered here in um, on my desktop I got four mods that I'm going to show you today. Now two of these mods I use uh, and the other two I'm going to ins install just to show you. Um, I use this one here which is actually what this is is um, no dirty characters it changes the skin textures of the characters so that they don't don't have they don't have dirt all over them uh, the glowing ore veins I'm going to show you is a really cool one it makes the ore veins in the game a lot easier to see um, so I'll show you that lockpick pro this is something that makes it a lot easier to pick locks I think from what I read was it shows you where exactly to have your lock pick when you try to turn that lock. This is something I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes but in my let's play you, you probably won't see me using this because I, I prefer to not do this. I consider this more of a, uh, a cheat type uh, thing than anything else. And the Aerosmith is something a friend told me about that I, I'm curious about. It allows me to make arrows out of materials so I'm thinking that could be something cool to look into. So first off, how do we mod? Well, what we gotta do is we gotta find our directory for. Now to find the directory, of course, depends on how you have it installed. I have Steam and I have Skyrim through Steam, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open up another window. I'm gonna head to my drive where Steam is. So that's program files and Steam. Now in here, it's actually in Steam Apps. And then you gotta go into Common. And this is where your games are for uh, Steam. So we're gonna head into Skyrim. And this is the Skyrim directory here. So at this point, uh, you should basically see everything I have here. Um, data is where everything's stored. So this is where our mods are gonna go into. So that said, we're just gonna leave this open over here. Now let's look at the. Um, well, we'll start with the Aerosmith one because this is new to me. Oh, let's see, close that. Now, it's an ESP file, so what happens is these files, I believe you just put them right in the data directory, but we will look at this readme file because uh, the readme files always tell you what to do. I'll turn word wrap off. Actually, I'll turn it on. So, this allows you to create arrows and forge using your blacksmithing or your smithing skills to install. Okay, we don't have it previously installed. So now we're going to just extract it to the data folder. Um, there we go, that's it. Uh, run the launcher, select data files, check that one. Okay, so it's basically the same as Oblivion. So we're going to take this, put it here. And that mod is now currently installed. There's nothing else to it. So the glowing ore veins. Now I already have this installed, but I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. So once again, always look at the readme files if you're not sure. But basically it tells you extract it to your Skyrim data folder. Alright. So textures is actually what the whole thing is. These are just screenshots of what it looks like. And I'll show you here. This is well okay, depleted. Let me see another one here. See, there's one. Anyway, that's not a big deal. The big deal is copying this texture. So we're gonna drag this into here. And like I said, I've already done this. But there's been an update, so I'm uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the update happen and do this for the next 18. Okay, so that one is now installed. That's the glowing ores. Lockpick Pro. Um, this looks like an interface one. Install basically says place that and that file in the Skyrim data interface. Change the settings to your liking. Okay, well let's just copy the interface over. Now let's go in there and lockpick. So I'm gonna drag this over a little bit. 
It's a text file. Okay, lock picking menu settings. Uh, show the sweep spot bar. Okay, show arrow on bar. Extra. Show after seconds. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. I'm going to head back. Close this. And the last one that I like to use is the no dirty bodies. And this basically is more texture files. So we're going to do this, copy this straight in. And, and like I said, I did this before, so we'll just click yes. And don't do, or do this for all conflicts. There we go. So if I go into textures, you see here, character and all the females. It basically just changes the textures for the bodies so they're not dirty anymore. All right, so that's it. Uh, apparently those are installed. Now let's pop open my Steam. Go my library and play. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, show you here. I'm gonna go to data files click here now we have Aerosmith and the rest of the files are what's called loose files because they're just textures they're not actually plugins per se so load loose files will mean let's load all the extra stuff that's in there you're gonna click on OK after we check that and make sure your Aerosmith is checked and then play so I'm gonna stop this video right now because I have to restart it when the game's up and then uh, I'm gonna show you these things uh, in in game, so you see how they. All right, guys. So here I am. This is not my character I've been doing my let's play with. This is my um, another character I've been playing, who's kind of a, a mage uh, character. But I'm doing some Dark Brotherhood stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, um, I at a mine that's not far from Riverwood, and I'm show you here. This is Riverwood. This is where the Guardian Stones are, and there's a mine, Ember Shard Mine, right here. And in here, we can find some ores. So, let's go in, and I think there's also a locked chest where we can demonstrate that one as well. So, what I did, um, I, I've actually already went in here a, a little bit. I didn't really clear it out, but, uh, actually, let me see. We'll find some more in here. I'm just actually going to pause this video here. I want to make sure my uh, volumes are okay. So I'm going to pause this video, check that, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so it sounds like my um, audio is okay. So let's carry on. And I've already gone down through here. Uh, let's see. This is actually a good place to get... Oh, jeez, that was Lydia. It's a good place to get ores and stuff in this mine, and, uh, we carry on. So I've already been down here. Got further ahead of this stuff. I'm going to see what's down here. See, right here was a ore. One of these was an ore, and I've gotten it. So you can see it looks like you can't really tell. But let's go find a good one. Yeah, we're probably going to get jumped up here. So we're going to see a little mage action. See, right in front of me, that's an order right there. This will draw some attention. Watch this, guys. I love that guy. Now he'll come back up here with me, or she will. So yeah, this is a work. It stands out better. So yeah, this is it. Um, so uh, I'm gonna.
pause the video here and we're going to find ourselves a chest to see how that lockpick works or the lockpick pro works. I mean, if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll come and do this cave with my other character. I'm going to do my let's play with Okay, guys, I found uh, there's another ore here, and as you can see, this does stand out quite a bit better. I'm not going to get it right now because I want to show you something else. But, uh, and you see, there's an ore over there. It stands out better. What I want to show you is this a door we can break into. So now you can see that there's. Um, you know, spots over here that are not good at all, not good at all, and then we're getting into spots where we start to turn, right here, this is the sweet spot, and she opens right up, and we can loot whatever's in here, um, so yeah, that looks pretty nice and all, but like I said, it's probably not something I'm going to use, because it, it does really seem like cheating. So, the other thing I want to show you was, um, now, don't take this the wrong way, this isn't meant to be inappropriate, but, uh, the dirty female models. So, I'm going to take this off, and you're going to see that her body, uh, isn't so dirty looking, if I can actually zoom in look. See, it's actually clean. All the dirt's taken off. So, that's another, uh, another one of those mods I put on here. So, that's it. That's how you install mods. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and, uh, oh, the other one was the arrows. So, I'm going to go to a crafting station. I'm going to show you that, and then that'll be it. But, uh, if you like this video, let me know. Um, and I can do more. If you guys have any ideas of how to install a mod or, or any other tutorials you want about this game, you let me know. I will do it for you. So, uh, just give me a second to go get myself to, uh, uh, a blacksmith uh, or a, sorry a forge and I will show you how to make it all right guys I'm in Riverwood I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this place I'm just gonna show you here at uh, our friends black uh, smith forge so with that arrow thing on there's now a miscellaneous category and here we can make arrows elven iron steel so we see it takes firewood and the ignits so I'm gonna make 50 of them that's it that easy so we know that works now so yeah anyway let me know if you um, like this video if you want me to do more and everything I, I would appreciate that and like I always say I enjoy these videos so um, I hope you guys enjoy them too thanks for watching guys